Father's Day is this Sunday, and we have got you covered with the latest and greatest grooming products that he will love. Joining us now is beauty and grooming editor Dave Lackey to show us what's new. Dave, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Sid. Good morning, Dina. Good so nice morning. to be here. Dave, we're happy to have you. I'll tell you why. People forget about their papas. Big, big no-no. And I know there's room for improvement when it comes to what we pick up for our papas. So first things first, Sid's like, what's she about to spit out? I'm laughing at my own pun. I almost didn't even say it. Here's the thing. I've never heard of this in my life, Dave. You say how to pick a scent for your dad based on his watch style? I know it sounds what? crazy, but this trick really works. Okay. So, you know, if you're trying to find the perfect, you know, fragrance for your father, start to look at his favorite watch style. So I always start, look if he's into cars, like if he's into automobiles, he probably has a chronograph watch. So one that has, you know, the, the sports cars and, and it has actually, um, this one is from Tissot and Tissot actually um, provided their three top um, watch designs for Father's Day. And this one was designed um, based on 1965 on the top race cars in Europe. So oh. if your father's into that, go for Paco Rabanne's One Million Elixir. And this is a brand new concentration of fragrance that's an earthy woody fragrance. It's got cedar and apple and vanilla and patchouli. If he's into cars, he's going to love this fragrance. Nice. So that's the first one. Mm -hmm. If he's into sports, if he's a scuba diver, then probably he's got a certified diver's watch. So this is a certified, this is the C, uh, the C Star uh, 2000. And this is one that I would go with Hugo Boss, uh, the scent Le Parfum. And this is a spicy woody fragrance. It's got ginger, it's got iris, mm. it's got woods in it. And anytime you've got ginger in a fragrance, it adds energy. So anybody, any dad that's really active is going to really like that fragrance. Nice. And finally, if there is, if your dad's a true gentleman, if he likes to dress up, then he's probably got a very streamlined kind of watch that kind of looks a bit like this. Uh, this is the Tissot Gentleman. If that's the case, go with Ferragamo's new fragrance called Bright Leather. And this has got grapefruit, mandarin, it's got basil and rosemary, and it's got leather in it. Very, very elegant. All three fragrances are winners, and they're guaranteed to make your dad smile on Sunday morning. Nice. Some great ideas there. All right, uh, what's on trend in terms of watches themselves, Dave? Watches in terms of uh, you're looking at quality and we're seeing people invest. I mean, there's been two years of pandemic. People are treating themselves now. So again, a really great chronograph watch uh, works day, works night, morning, um, and, and you can wear it on the weekends. That's kind of what we're what we're really seeing in terms of trending. I love essential oils and you say elixirs are all the rage because of that, right? They are. Now, Elixirs is the brand new concentration of men's fragrance. And this is kind of an intense, intense version. So if your dad likes really a, a strong fragrance that's going to last, and that's what we're talking about here, long lasting, one spritz is going to work, is going to last six to seven hours. And that's because the concentration of the essential oils is much bigger. So a little bit more expensive, but these versions are really going to last longer. Dave, in terms of grooming product sales with men, like there's a lot of industries booming here in an odd time. This is one of them, isn't it? It, it totally is. This one really surprised me. I actually read a survey not uh, last week that basically said Gen Z guys now consider grooming products and fragrances as essential everyday items. They're no longer luxuries. So that's part of what's fueling this. And as well, anti-aging, we're seeing, you know, uh, a bit of ageism in the workforce where older guys are competing with younger guys for jobs and they've got to look good. So we're seeing double digit growth, which big surprise. And I'll tell you, manicures, pedicures, you're seeing just as much men as women now. Men are paying so much attention to everything so it looks just so. Like if you want Sid Sixero's eyebrows, you think those come easy? No, you gotta wash <laughs> yeah, it, you gotta comb do. it. Just don't you touch gotta, it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but when it comes to truly grooming, like the beard, it, well, you don't have a beard. But, you know, like, there's a lot that goes into all that, right? I could if I wanted. You could yeah. if you wanted. <laughs> it's so true. There's a lot of work. And I actually find grooming products make great Father's Day gifts. Yeah. You know, a great face wash, you know, great aftershave balm, something that he might not treat himself to. That's a really appreciated gift that he's going to use every day, you know, for the next month or so. So it's kind of the gift that keeps giving. 
Uh, Dave, this was great. We appreciate it. Look, a lot of people, you know, shopping a little late maybe for Father's Day. You gave them some great advice. Uh, we're going to help out here on BT as well. We've got an awesome giveaway for one of our lucky viewers. Uh, here's the deal. You can win a Father's Day grooming basket valued at over $400. Woo! Head to breakfasttelevision.ca and click on Daily Prizing for your chance to win a gift that will lock down a surefire successful Father's Day right. for you and yours. <laughs> and for more information, Dave, we find you at Dave Lackey on Twitter, Dave Lackey Beauty on Insta, DaveLackey.com. Thanks for all the great tips. Have a great day. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Take care.